Okay, what's up everybody? Steve here. I'm back to do a quick review on the Lit Mobile Solar Charger. The 20,000 milliamp solar charger. It also has a built-in light and it has a few USB charging ports and one charging port, you know, charge this bad boy up. Um, people want to see what's going on with it. Some people had some bad experiences with uh, the charger itself. Uh, I'm pleasantly surprised that I didn't have those issues, but we'll get into that a little bit, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, so I did some testing on some various items. I started off with my Apple Watch. Check it out here. Um, I did adjust it here and there. Obviously, it didn't work. So that sucks. Then I moved on to regular items like my iPhone X, which you'll see here in a second. And that seemed to work fine. I did have to remove my case as usual, but good news is it works. That's the best news. Then I did something new. I got the new Apple AirPods Pro. And as you can see by the light over there on the top, um, right over here, it's charging. So that's great. I actually let it charge up uh, to 100%. Then I tested the LED lights on the panel there. That works fine. Uh, you can adjust all the brightness and all that. And then I just checked if the solar charging would turn on when I went outside. So that worked. So my particular charger has not given me any problems. Slow charging, yeah, but it says it all right there. Now, I've heard all the horror stories about dealing with Lit Mobile, and I myself, yeah, I had to go and make a claim with before they actually got got to it and sent me a charger. It took a few weeks, but you know, I've been lucky. I, I think I got a good unit, and I haven't had issues with it since. So. I hope all the information that you got in this follow-up on the Lit Mobile Charger helped you all out out there. And if you liked the video, please hit the like and share button. And if you want to see more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button as well. Until next time, take care and aloha.